Drift because you've never done it before. Drift because you want something different. Drift because um, you don't like your current condition. You don't have to be anybody to drift. You just have to try. You don't have to have a 240 to drift. You just need a real drive car. You just need to go out and practice. You don't need to build a car to drift. You just need to practice. Even if it's automatic, you can still rip the e-brake and steer up the throttle. Throw it an L2 for, all, for heaven's sake. If you're going through a divorce, if you can't get it up at night, if you are doing bad in school, if you are going through depression, no matter what, drifting will replace that lack with something so explosive that you at times can't contain yourself after you do it. It's not competitive like football. It's not like soccer. I mean, in a sense, it's a lot like, you know, skateboarding or stunt riding. Drifting is kind of like uh, riding a bike or riding a skateboard. You want to get better. You really have to put your all into it. Otherwise, you won't get that kickflip. I put everything into this. Like, I put everything into it. Just turned 16, and I knew I had to have a 240. Drifting is like the best thing ever. So I went out and bought a boosted KA240 and uh, two weeks later blew it up. The drifting scene in Kansas City is a volcano. It is very still, very quiet, maybe even not even on the radar, the Richter scale. But give it time and I guarantee you, it will erupt so heavily and put this place on the map to where we see name brand people visiting and coming out to localized tracks. I started drifting by myself at about three o'clock in the morning in this same freaking area, by myself, going out, practicing, checking things, e-breaking it, crashing, going out, doing it again till 4 a.m. till sunrise because I wanted to get better. I was so, I don't know, amazed by how the way I looked at the street became a playground. I looked at a turn and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could see this and that. In your mind, you see this perfect line that you can hit. And it's like, I don't know, it, the world becomes your playground, man. Growing up, I've always been into cars to the point that uh, my parents wouldn't let me own anything rear wheel drive till I was about 18. I always liked doing donuts and I was into straight line racing for a really long time, but eventually that got old and I realized you just, I don't know, it's not as fun. And drifting, you can go out there with a bone stock car, have a little bit of suspension work, and have a blast. And it's honestly a lot more car control. You can see who can really drive, who can't drive. It's just a whole nother ball game. And that's what really interests me about it. It's,
You take that stock KA and you take that e-breaker, you pull it as hard as you can. You learn how to spin out first. You take that extra money, you throw it in the gas tank. And then you go to Quick Trip for free and air up your tires more than what the recommended uh, state is. Because guess what? You're trying to break the tires loose with the stock horsepower you got. Drifting forces you to become creative, to do what you can in order to make your car slide. And from there, you get better at it. I would go and hit corners by myself, this and that, but when I met up with Tokyo, we went to Mexico on a Saturday night. Uh, I didn't know we would form a group, become really good friends, and uh, I went from having nobody in the KC car scene to help me out. Now I have people that I can really look up to as brothers to help me out in the drift scene. Not only that, I just got a new sway bar. Remember, I haven't been running a front sway bar my whole setup. I just got all that fixed. I like it. Anybody want to ride along? Let's say it's 1 a.m. and we're just now finishing the first spot and uh, my back tire is already pretty bald and flat. What would I do? Jack up my car and swap the fronts to the rear and put the rears up front just to stay out all night. Wouldn't get home till like five, six in the morning and those are the best nights of my life. I was drifting for like three months maybe and then I started getting really, really confident in what I could do and I didn't really wreck much after that but those first three months were rough but once I got better and my car also got better, I, I did realize, yeah, I can do this. It was really just me going out by myself. And then not till like two winters ago, I started uh, meeting more people in Kansas City who uh, also, also wanted to drift. And uh, we started going out pretty much every weekend, sometimes during the weekdays, and just kept turning up on the streets. Those same people uh, 
uh, we're going out to uh, events all summer long, you know, just road tripping it in a convoy of like 10 of us. You hit the event and, and then have a good time and hope you don't fucking crash. And then hang out that night. Uh, then head out in the morning and just... Uh, if I had it my way, I would do that every weekend. Luckily, it comes out nice. Like, it, you know, it's hard. Like, I got some gray hair, for sure. But I think at the end of the day, like, if I didn't do it, I'd be a different person. I, I would be boring. Drifting is a culture. When I go to the track, if I break down, guess what? Everybody comes up and helps. If it's the streets and we're all out, everybody pitches in. Drifting has never been about the name brand or the way, uh, the name in, in which you use or, or the body kit or the Big Country Labs wing that you have on your back. It's not about that. I don't give a shit if you made your wing in your house. You build your drift car as a reflection of yourself. So what that you decided to run pink wheels instead of chrome wheels? Oh, you don't have chrome 20 inch wheels, your car's not rad. Go against what the forums say is cool. If you don't have an LS motor, so what? If you decide to turbo your KA, fine. If you want to put a rotary inside 240, fine. If you want to put a motorcycle motor in the front of your car, fine, whatever. However you want to build your drift car, build it however you want. It might take more money, it might take more time. But if you think it's possible, it's possible. Uh, so right now all I'm doing Um, as I built a beautiful car, so I can go just fucking drive with my friends. And then I can go travel. Because uh, I think uh, the reason I'm in this, um, it's more about the people that are in it, the people I meet, um, and all the people I hang out with, because uh, just the community, uh, that's everything, you know? Drifting in Kansas City is so much fun, but it's so much more fun to do with friends. And like, there, there's not a weekend that goes by where friends aren't coming over and helping me, and I'm not going out and helping my friends, and like, they don't want anything other than that. Drifting, the cohesion behind it, the support, the love, it's a completely different atmosphere.
thrifting is just like overall like one of the best outlets you can have because it, it's not competitive like football. Uh, you can express yourself freely. Um, you can do it with friends. I mean, it, it's almost like being in a band because you know, like you can you can play an instrument by yourself, but like it, it's so much better like with your friends whenever you all get involved and uh, just one up each other every day and just uh, keep having fun. You know, that's what it's all about.